<laughs> Hi, I'm Dan Sosnowski, the Editor-in-Chief of Chiropractic Economics, and we're here at Parker Seminars Las Vegas 2018. And I'm joined here by Daniel Buzad, and he's a uh, owner and founder of a company called Smart Step Flooring Solutions. Yep. And uh, I'd like to ask you uh, a few questions about your product, and we can uh, kind of explore what these products are and why doctors of chiropractic might want them. Okay. Uh, one of the first things I think that would be natural to, to, to look at is Doctors of chiropractic are always looking at their patient's posture and, and their ergonomic situation, and sometimes they, they, they neglect to look at their own. And how, how would uh, smart flooring kind of fit into the wellness picture for the DC? Well, through all the years and all the shows we've done, Daniel, it's pretty apparent that the majority of the chiropractors and doctors do not take care of themselves. And I kind of find a, a real irony there because yeah. I'm coming to see that doctor to take care of my back, but yet, you know, he or she is just not taking care of themselves. They find themselves usually on you know, hardwood floors or beaten down commercial carpet, sometimes see yeah. the concrete through and all that. So our, one of our goals, but the goal of, of anybody, what a doctor should be looking at is taking care of themselves, A, for their own health and well-being. They stand in compromising positions for many hours a day. These doctors work very hard, as you know. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and again, often they're in compromising positions, bending, uh, applying pressure, whatnot. And, and again, that's going to negatively affect their own back, spine, legs, hips, etc. over the over years, especially over the course of time, yeah. you know, as time goes. So one of the things that we want to do is, again, we always joke, you know, who's got the doctor's back? And that's that's what we want to do. You know, we've got the doctor's back. We've got you so that you can take care of us, quite frankly. That's our, our kind of campaign. Yeah. And, uh, you know, here at the, at, the, at the trade show, people are walking around for miles and miles and they're figuring out, well, if they step over a booth and they step on one of these pads, immediately you get it. It's just like the, the pain goes away, you feel so much better. It's almost like you feel like you're resting for a few hours and, with, with your legs up. And so Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, you know, it's, it's a little easier when you're at a trade show. I always say yeah. that uh, that's how I make my best friends is, I used to think it was my personality. I realize now it's just the mats. Sure. Um, but when they are walking, it's no different than a long day of, of work whether it be, again, a chiropractor standing, or I as the patient in my work environment. I walk a lot in, in my work. Uh, so therefore, again, it's, it's good because it can you know, give kind of live applications to what they're going through, what we're going through. So when they do stand on the mat, it immediately suspends the body weight, takes the pressure off the spine, mm -hmm. you know, decompresses the spine right there just by taking that pressure off. You can't feel the floor below you using a good quality you know, standing solution, yeah. you know, as we do. Uh, again, obviously encourages proprioception, all those good things that are chiropractic practice speak of. That's what happens. And therefore, there's instant relief and people do hang around the booth a little longer. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. Get to know everybody a little nicer. As I was mentioning to you earlier, uh, most of us, uh, where I work, we, uh, we have standing desks and most of us have mats to go along with them because when you're standing up for an hour, an hour and a half during the workday, it's nice, it's nice to have something a little... But that's a situation where we put ourselves into a standing situation. Uh, what kind of uh, workers out there in the workplace would really benefit from a product like this? Well, it's really simple, Daniel. Anybody that stands, and it's funny, we can isolate for a second maybe on this whole standing, sit, stand, desk category. Sure. It's been tremendously large for us of late. Uh, we worked with a lot of different uh, distributors and, and you know players in the game and, and some private label, and there's no doubt we've got the story half right by standing instead yeah. of sitting. We got that, and yeah. I think that that's being marketed very well, but then the problem becomes well, now my feet are sore. Mm -hmm. Now my, my, my legs are sore. So they really kind it is a one-two punch. They, they kind of work together very well. The, the standing desk, you re really need a premium standing solution underneath it to take that impact off your back and spine now. You're just kind of putting it in different areas. Now you're, you're putting all that pressure on your lower back and you're, <laughs> your feet. Right. It's like, well, wait a minute now. Just moving it Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so by standing on a good standing solution, uh -huh. it makes all the difference in the world. It works very well with a standing desk. Okay. So like other other people who are standing all day, you could be talking about uh, the, the barbers, uh, hairstylists, oh, yeah. uh, people in uh, food service. Uh. Well, one of the things we've been fortunate with is our company is pretty broad. Mm -hmm. You know, we take care, we work in the auto industry, we work in hospitals and, and yeah. labs and ORs, we work in uh, customer service across, uh, we do Homeland Security for the, you know, with the government, all oh, the yeah. GSA agents standing. So just about any occupation, most occupations, and now they're adding the standing desk, 
desks, even the office desks are turning to staining. So there's no doubt it's a huge part you know, of, of our workforce. And, and again, so more people staining. If you're not taking care of yourself, ultimately they come and see a, their trusted chiropractor because they're in ailing, they're in pain. There's, there's ailments that are coming along. And uh, so it's, it's a huge concern. Right. So for the DC who has uh, patients like that in their patient base, and they may want to uh, refer them to a product or prescribe them a, a, a smart flooring product, uh, what are some of the things they should look for? What, what, what's the mark of a, of a, of a quality flooring? Well, a, a quality, Matt, and, and yes, we're, you know, obviously we're, we're in the game and, and we are the leaders of it, and, and I say that modestly, but, but proven. We are made in America. Okay. Uh, that means that we have to meet stringent U.S. regulations to, put, to officially put that Made in USA stamp on it. That means that if we're going to claim pure polyurethane, which we are, let me yeah. back up for a second. The properties of polyurethane are the molecules are, are thermoset, so therefore uh, they're, they're linked in such a way that they will never compress or break down. So, you know, you and I are good sized guys. If we're standing on that mat, it's not going to squish down over time. Oh. And usually when it squishes, that means the edges roll up, you create trip uh -huh. hazards. So, if you're using polyurethane, it's very important. It's expensive, but important. And, and again, by doing that, we use zero plasticizer zero fillers, zero latex compounds, uh, no uh, BPAs, uh, all sorts of toxins that, that a lot of the offshore stuff and cheaper mats have in them. And again, they can make a pretty looking mat, there's no doubt, something's better than nothing. Yeah. But over time, there's, there's off-gassing, um, they're, they're, they're toxic quite frankly, and you know they, they shrink up. And when a mat shrinks, the number one hazard of any mat in any industry is the edges roll up. And as soon as you have a rolled up edge, it's a trip hazard. It's a trip hazard, absolutely. So you know, you're kind of defeating the whole purpose again. You know, get it out of here. They rip, they tear, and again, rips and tears become trip hazards. They have, it's all mat travel. They travel around the floor. So if you're going to look for a good mat, look for a compound, and pure polyurethane is proven for 20 years to yeah. be that, and that's what we do, but it's proven. And again, you want to be able to suspend the body weight. You want a mat that the edges are not going to roll up. It's not going to separate, bubble or delaminate. Uh, and it's going to stay obviously comfortable. Suspending that weight means it's taking the impact off for a long period of time. That's what a good mat is supposed to be. All right. Well, hey, Daniel, you've given us a very insightful look at a, a, a product that could be a game changer for a lot of DCs and their patients. So very thanks good. for talking with us. Thanks, Daniel, very much. Right. Thank you.